Hello, my name is Joshua and I will be your first grade math instructor and today we are going to be going over subtraction. Let's get started. So today we are doing an object problem and from this object we should be able to make a, a, a math problem out of it. So we see that there's one, two, three, four, and five objects. So what we can do is out of a subtraction problem we can do five minus three. So we see there's five objects, and if we take away three of those objects, let's see what we would get. So if we take away one, two, and three, we see that there's two objects left over. Therefore, we would know that our answer would be two. Moving on to a more advanced word problem, we have nine minus four. So we see that there are nine objects. Now, if we group these four in the corner together we would count the outer of what of what is left and we would get that we have one two three four and five left over therefore we would know that nine minus four equals five now we're going to do a number line and if you're not familiar with a number line usually a number line goes from one through ten or you can stretch it out as long as you need it to be but today we're just going to go through one through ten and we're going to do the problem 8 minus 3. So what we do is we would start from 8 and we would come over 3 spaces. So that's 1, 2, 3. And it landed on 5. So therefore we know that 8 minus 3 equals 5. Hello, my name is Joshua and I'm going to be your second grade math instructor. And today we're going to be going over subtraction. Let's get started. Okay, so we see that we have a problem 14 minus 5. Now, if you don't know what 14 minus 5 is off the bat, what you can do is use objects to help you out if you need the help. So let's draw 14 objects. I like to use tally marks, but you can use boxes, circles, triangles, whatever. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lines. Now, if we take a circle and we group them with 5, because we're subtracting 5, we take these 5 away. So now we're left with whatever, whatever tally marks are left over. And let's count them out. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's 9 tally marks left. Therefore, we should know that 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. Now we have a fill-in-the-blank problem. What is blank minus 5 that equals to 2? Now, you can do all sorts of different tricks. You can guess and check. Just keep plugging in numbers to see what gets us to 2. Our here is sort of a sure <laughs> you straight to what you need to do so if you take five and you take you take the information that's given so we also have two what we can do in reverse is we can do five plus two and if you know what five plus two is that would equal seven and then from there we would know that since five plus two equals seven that must mean seven minus five is equal to two so we know now that 7 minus 5 equals 2. So that's just one way that you can use to figure out, but there's many other ways. And next we're going to move on to a uh, sort of a mental math, but sort of like algebraic uh, formula of problem for subtraction. So we're going to do 30 minus 15. So what we're going to do is we see that 0 it's uh, 0 minus 5. We can't do that because that would give us a negative number. So we have to borrow from the 3. We put a 2 on top to show that we borrowed. And then this one gets a 1 in front of it, which would equal to 10. So 10 minus 5 equals 5. And then we move over. Can 2 go into 1? It can. So 2 subtracted by 1 is 1. So there we would know that 15 minus 30 equals 15.